you've been through Why you got scars Since you walked through the door I've been trying to reach you Cause I feel you What's the story to tell? What's the story behind? The mountain you're trying to climb Think I've heard it before In a movie line We can ride What's up guys? Welcome back to another vlog or if you're brand new, what's up? I am Jen and I am sharing another weekly vlog with you guys. Hopefully we'll get you pumped up and motivated to level up in life. I don't know why I keep clapping. I'm Italian. I talk with my hands, but I am here at the gym getting ready to go in here and crush pool day. Got my pre-workout here. I did a scoop of the Redmond Relight pre-workout this morning and I've already been sipping on a little bit. I can already feel that tingliness and getting ready to get jacked and go knock out this workout. Feeling extra awesome this morning. Morning. Yesterday was my birthday, so we are heading into my 38th trip around the sun, and I couldn't feel better. I could not feel more awesome and grateful about where my life is and where my life is going, enjoying the moment right now, but excited for what's to come in the future. Just overall feeling pumped. Had a really good, awesome day with the people that I love the most yesterday, which is the most important, and I ran yesterday, which is crazy because I haven't ran since before we went on the Miami trip, and when you get out of it even for like a month or so like that it's definitely harder to get back in I didn't even plan on running yesterday I had went for a couple mile walk with my son he was scootering and I was power walking and then he got tired and want to go back to the house and I wasn't done yet I was just gonna finish like maybe another half mile or something and then all of a sudden I was like why don't I just run a little bit and then bam and I ended up at five miles before I knew it and I felt amazing and it was awesome and the best gift that you can give yourself every single day and on your birthday is to invest in yourself stay committed to yourself be consistent and true to who you are and who you want to be every single day in this life and that's going to serve you the absolute best on your birthday and every single day of the year I'm completely just like feeling super grateful I can't say that enough and when you have gratitude you just have such a positive outlook on life and things that you want to chase and pursue where you're at now grateful for where you are grateful for where you've been and where you're going and I don't know, I'm just feeling absolutely awesome. But I'm gonna talk more to you guys about that later. I wanted to address it more in last week's vlog also and I just didn't get a chance. It has been crazy and busy. And even though I am like in a super good headspace mentally, I definitely physically feel a little off this morning. I definitely ate off plan all weekend long and I actually have done that more lately than I have like in my entire health journey and I can feel it for sure. And we We've been on a lot of trips and eating off plan and a lot of weekends eating off plan and everything since I ended the low carb cut and then we went to Miami, then got back and got sick for a couple weeks, then got better and then went to Texas and then it, my birthday, there's just been a lot going on, a lot of off plan eating which I am totally not used to so I definitely can feel like the puffiness and water weight plus it's my cycle this week and I'm always like a puffer fish during that week anyway so that on top of it is definitely making me feel feel a little more puffy and bloated but as you saw, I tried those new um, Opti Greens from First Form, which is supposed to help with bloat, digestion, inflammation, muscle health, just all like a ton of benefits, which I'll go over that more with you guys too and share how I like those after I've taken them for a little bit and what differences I can see. But it's already getting later in the day, so let's get in here and knock out this first workout. I will try to film as much as I can, but I broke my tripod. I broke the clip off of it, so I can't even set up my phone because you guys know I film with my phone. I'm on my camera right now, but I don't bring my camera in the gym because I don't want to break it or whatever. It's just easier to set my phone up, but I need to get another tripod. So hopefully later in the week, I'll be able to film some more clips, but I will try to get what I can for you guys today. But I hope you guys are getting up and moving your body, fueling your body with awesome foods, fueling your mind with awesome content and things that help produce a positive outlook, help you to be more grateful and help you to chase the things that you want in life. But 
we gotta get in here and knock out this workout. I do have my hydro jug, of course, in this super cute sleeve that, of course, matches me. I did already, like, kill almost this whole jug this morning, and I added some electrolytes in it and filled it back up for a second time. So, I'll try to work on this while we are in there. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the sauna today or what I'm gonna do for cardio. You guys will see that. But I need to go ahead and finish this pre-workout so I can get in here and crush this pool day. You know that I'm the queen of overthinking It's like we're done before we even started So if this is the end now, baby Know that I gave him my all I believe in us, I won't give up on you epic pool day. I know I say that all the time. I don't say that all the time. You guys know some workouts are not as good as others, but the ones that are bomb are bomb. And when you're feeling strong, even though I felt like a bloated puffer fish going in there, I could see the gains. I could feel them. I felt strong. I felt awesome. I really worked on quality over quantity. And I can't stress that to you guys enough. I know a lot of people like to stress about the poundage and going up and up. But if you're going up and you are, sorry guys, you know I'm always throwing you around. But if you are stressing about going up on the poundage at the expense of your form and the quality of the movement that you're doing, then it isn't worth it. Going heavier isn't always worth it if you are not focusing on form and you are not doing the full functional range of movement. That matters more than anything. Quality over quantity. Doesn't matter the amount of reps you do. It matters the range of motion and the quality of the movement. So definitely make sure that you guys are paying attention to that. Um, but did awesome, had a super killer workout, did like 25 minutes in the sauna, killed my water, have like one sip left in, and that was my second one. So I've already gone in almost a gallon today. So feeling awesome about that. I am definitely ready to go get some good food in and just feeling awesome about the day. And that's what I was saying. I went in feeling like I felt like really good mentally, but I felt physically like bloated and puffy and you know that always like just gets in your head especially when it's that time of the month for us ladies and it just goes to show that I still had a killer workout that you don't have to let your emotions control you sometimes I could see the gains in there even though I like felt puffy when I was watching myself work out normally when I'm feeling puffy like that I can't see the gains as much and holding water weight and all of that from off plan eating as much as I have been and all of that but I still could see the gain so sometimes your emotions don't line up with reality that's why you can't run off your emotions alone you have to remind yourself that our emotions are fickle and we are fickle and that you just have to keep pressing in and pressing on that's the point I'm trying to make but I hope you guys are having a super killer Monday and totally pressing in to be in the absolute best version of the, yourself today and every day so that you can have the life that you truly want the life that you want when you are sitting alone by yourself and thinking about the things that you want to get out of this life or the way that you feel I hope that you are showing up and your actions are aligned with how you feel in those moments but your girl is fired up and ready to get to the house and eat I have to run to Target really quick and pick up my grocery order, which I will be filming for you guys. I have to edit a pantry video, which I redid, which literally increases my quality of life by 20%, not even exaggerating. It's insane how much an organized kitchen and pantry will do for your mental state, for your grocery bill, for your meal planning, for the rest of the people in your family. It's like insane how 
much better I feel that I was able to tackle that job and get it done and have it functional and awesome. You guys will see that video and it will have posted before this one. So if you missed it, definitely go back and check it out. Give you all the inspiration and motivation to tackle a job and get your life more organized and level up in the decluttering game. But about to pick up this grocery haul and get home and whip up a meal. Holy moly guys, it is super late. I am just now finally making lunch and it's like five o'clock. We're not gonna still have dinner for a couple hours so I'm just going in with a quick little salad here. I had a little bit of chicken left over in the fridge that I needed to use up so I threw that on there and then I also threw a couple of the Black and Tyson chicken strips on there. Some of this new dressing that I just got from Target, 40 calories a serving, three and a half grams of fat, one gram protein and this is the bolt house farm cilantro avocado you guys know that i used to love the cilantro line from primal kitchen it's just way higher calories so i'll let you guys know how this is i'm also going in with a cherry dr pepper zero sugar and the cookies and cream built bar which you guys know this is one of my faves i can't wait till the rocky road comes in i ordered two boxes of it always have a link down below and with will save you some money so stock up on those babies and the macros are coming in at 384 calories nine net carbs 52 grams of protein and 14 grams fat i'm also going to go in with this Simply Pineapple Good Culture Cottage Cheese. So the Built Bar and the Cottage Cheese are 230 calories and 32 grams of protein. hash brown casserole again for dinner i know it looks a little crazy but it's delicious i added a couple different things to it this time and it is awesome i filmed it for a what's for dinner so be looking out for that video but this is coming in at 504 calories 46 grams of protein 27 carbs i mean can you guys even with this right now how good does this deliciousness look? I have two of these great value light cherry non-fat yogurts. They're 80 calories a serving. If you guys saw my grocery haul, I think like two grocery hauls ago, they actually put this in my Walmart order on accident. I got some blueberry ones and some of these cherry ones. These cherry ones are delicious. 80 calories, zero fat. 15 carbs and 5 grams protein. I have two of those in here. Some of the original Purely Elizabeth granola. If you guys caught my pantry video, you will see how I organized everything and then how I'm able to scan it and put it in Carb Manager. I showed how I did everything in the video. So if you haven't seen that, definitely go check it out. And then I also topped it with this cookie batter American Dream Nut Butter. And OMG, are these delicious. My girl Nicole sent me four different flavors for my birthday. Thank you, girl, because they are literally the thebomb.com like obsessed with them all of them i've tried so far have been delicious and this yogurt bowl is coming in at 406 calories 42 net carbs 30 grams protein and 15 grams fat yes please and that finishes me off for the night at 185 grams protein 56 grams fat 1783 on the calories and 115 net carbs for a wrap to monday night Happy Tuesday. It is the first day of school for the kiddos in my area. Let me know down below for all my mamas out there and daddies if we have any daddies watching. If your kids start back to school now or if they start back later in the year. I know depending on where you are it depends on when you start but August 10th today and the kiddos are back in school. So little dude is starting third grade and my teenager is a senior and drove herself to school in her new car holy moly 
all these babies are growing up so but they had an awesome morning they were super pumped a little nervous but excited for school so that was awesome but I am of course working on my Zevia here on the way back from dropping little guy off at school getting ready to make up some protein oatmeal and some protein coffee today is Tuesday not a gym day just a cardio day so we're gonna get out and hit some cardio in a little bit and try to get a ton of work done and stuff done today. I have like my final couple weeks of school, so it's going to be like super crazy with that. So I've got to plan out my videos and stuff around my schooling and testing and all of that. But feeling awesome for today and pumped for this week. I am trying to decide if I am going to start phase two next Monday or if I'm just gonna wait till September 1st. We have been tossing it around and really it doesn't matter, I could do it either or. We're just trying to find the best dates um, to give you guys ample time because I know a ton of people want to do it with me or like I was saying in my last video or start 75 hard the same day. But you guys let me know down below how many of you guys are gonna be doing it with me and when would be the better start date. Okay, I am back and I have made up these delicious protein oats and protein coffee and as you see I just used some of this blonde roast cold brew that I got from Target this is a pure black unsweetened and then I just dumped one of the vanilla quest shakes in there threw some ice in there and then I whipped up some protein oatmeal I used one of these fiber and protein Quaker maple and brown sugar oatmeal and one of the PE Science Protein for Oats. Power up your oatmeal. This is the maple brown sugar one. These are delicious. The apple cinnamon yesterday was really good. And this one is really good also. I already tasted a bite. Topped it with a little bit of cinnamon. And that was like the perfect touch. And this morning's breakfast is coming in at 390 calories. 27 net carbs. 52 grams of protein. Yes please. And 7 grams of fat. It's 12 o'clock. And I am going in with my OptiGreens. My electrolytes. And all my... My supplements right now I have added a couple new things to my routine so I'm gonna run through it really quick with you guys you guys know that I've taken turmeric forever but this is a new one that I'm trying this is the nature wise made with organic turmeric curcumin plus organic ginger and biopurine I think is how you say that this has really good reviews has awesome ingredients so excited to have this back in my supplement game this stuff really helps with inflammation a ton of stuff there are a ton of benefits for this I of course am still taking my immune support booster from equip as well as my grass-fed beef liver from equip I am almost out of this one so I need to restock up on those and I always have a link down below if you guys want to get some and save yourself some money with the code in with Jen. This is a new one that my girl Nicole just sent me, PE Science. This is creatine, which you guys know I have incorporated like powder creatine in with my shakes or pre-workouts off and on for like quite some time now. But I have not taken them in like pill supplement form. So I'm excited to incorporate these with my supplements and see how they do. I am also now incorporating every day two scoops of the Opti Greens from First Form. There are like insane good benefits from these greens. They produce like an awesome foundation foundational health and help with digestion and bloating, inflammation, muscle health, recovery, to all the things, like so good, which I'll go more into detail after I've taken it for a little while. I've just started it this week, so I'll let you guys know how that is. And then, of course, I filled my water up again and added some of the Redmond Relight electrolytes in there. I just stocked up on a bunch of this, the Immunity Relight electrolytes, the pre-workout, all of that. And I have a link down below if you guys want to save yourself 15%, use code in with Jen and stock up on all the electrolytes and pre-workouts real salt all the things absolutely love that I also will be adding a couple more supplements that I've been researching so as soon as I get them and I incorporate them in and kind of see how they are or if I like the results that I'm getting I will let you guys know what those are also so I'm gonna go ahead and take my supplements with my greens and then here in just a couple minutes we'll make up some lunch it's two o'clock and here's what we have going on for lunch today I just threw a salad together topped it with one of these wild catch tunas from Walmart and then I also added one of the lemon and pepper bumblebee tunas because these are really good awesome way to get your protein in and they're delicious I just threw it on a bed of greens with some cherry tomatoes red onion avocado some of the roasted salted sunflower seeds from nutstop these are absolutely delicious 
And then I topped it with some of this Bolt House Farm cilantro avocado dressing, the one I had yesterday. It's really good. And it is coming in at 485 calories, 13 net carbs, 51 grams of protein, and 22 grams fat. 445, just got back from picking little dude up from school from his first day of third grade, which went really well. The car rider line, however, ended up being like an hour long, which made us not have time to make it to karate. So we will have to do switch up the karate schedule this week, but that's okay. I am back here now and going in with a Rocky Road Built Bar. I actually got both of my boxes yesterday. As soon as I had my Built Bar, I went outside and they had delivered both of my Rocky Roads, which I am so very excited about. Also got this little travel case free with purchase, which they are still doing. So check out the link below and get you a free little travel cooler with two little travel ice packs here. Super awesome and convenient to carry your Built Bars to the gym with you or whatever so they don't melt. Stay nice and fresh. But I'm going in with this. 150 calories. Also going in with a ginger root beer Zevia. No caffeine. And still working on my water and electrolytes. It's 720 and I just made up dinner here. I have two of the salsa Texan tortillas here. I have some cod that I needed to use up. Just threw in the oven with some taco seasonings and I made up coleslaw in the fridge earlier. So I have some fish tacos there with slaw, and then I have sweet potato fries here with some of the G. Hughes ketchup. This is coming in at 282 calories, 29 net carbs, and 23 grams protein. Um, the cod that I had in the freezer, I actually thought that I had more and I didn't have a ton. I had plugged in more in the carb manager, but it just it didn't end up being that much, but it should still be filling and it looks delicious. Just finished almost an hour of cardio. I was just going to do 30 minutes but I had my music jamming and just was super into it and ended up doing right over 50 minutes. Got back. Now I just made this whopping yogurt bowl and I have two of the Great Value Light. These are This is the blueberry flavor I'm having tonight. I have two of those in there. Then this stuff right here. This one is supposed to be like the goat that everybody loves. I haven't tried it yet so I'll let you guys know how it is. The blueberry brunch nut butter where are the macros 140 calories a serving which is 28 grams which i actually have more than that in here which i had a ton of calories allotted left over for the night and i surely used them up with this awesomeness right here and then some of the purely elizabeth granola there and it is a whopping 458 calories 52 net carbs 21 grams protein and 18 grams fat leaving me at the end of the day hitting 166 grams of protein 54 grams fat 1773 on the calories and 129 net carbs for a still awesome macro day and a wrap to Tuesday. Good morning. What's up, guys? Happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday morning. We're at the gym. We're getting ready to go in here and crush a leg session, which I am feeling eh about. I am working on my pre-workout here. The equip you just saw me mix up, so I am working on that. Hopefully, that will get your girl jazzed and ready to go. I feel good this morning. I just don't really feel like doing legs. Legs is not always my favorite. Sometimes I'm super into it, and sometimes I'm not. The last uh, couple leg sessions I've had have completely killed my legs, so I'm gonna do some of those walking lunges again, which is like the death of, of this girl. Like walking lunges and Bulgarian squats are probably my two least favorite leg exercises of all, but they work. So I am going to do that, but I am feeling good this morning. Had that oatmeal this morning, which is like my new current obsession. Mixing that PE science protein into the oatmeal is like, Dude, it is so good. If you guys have not tried that, definitely, definitely try it. Super good. And I, of course, am working on my water. And how friggin' cute is this? I actually was super hating on this sleeve and thought it was ugly when I first saw them launching it. I was like, oh, that's a hard pass for me. And then I saw it in the pink uh, with the pink jug match and I was like, oh, that's actually kind of cute And then I ended up liking it and I got this blush jug Which is probably one of my all-time favorites and how cute is this together? Absolutely obsessed so, of course, gonna work on my water. I have a ton of stuff to do today, per usual. The next couple weeks are gonna be really crazy too while I finish up 
school and then hopefully I can like get partial of my sanity back once I finish this program so I am excited about that but it's gonna be like crazy busy till then so I am actually not gonna film tomorrow I'm gonna take care of some other stuff knock out a ton of schoolwork and I have some family stuff to do too so I will catch up with you guys Friday to end the vlog kind of like I did last week but I wanted to talk to you guys about something because I keep seeing this like recurring theme I feel like amongst people that are trying to lose weight go on a health journey gain muscle whatever you're chasing in the health and fitness world is what I'm referring to right now which I guess it can go with every aspect of life but specifically talking right now about your weight loss if you are struggling and not losing weight it's probably most likely because you don't have a plan and you are not being diligent in it. I know because I have done it myself. I have recognized it more in the last three months that I have been tracking and weighing my food and being very, very diligent about focusing on my macros and the amount of food that I am eating, portion size. Anybody that you see that is like ripped or snatched has a shredded physique they for sure for sure track their food or have tracked it in the past for a certain amount of time because it it is just too easy to overeat it's just too easy to have bigger portions and not really know what you're putting into your body so I would suggest that if you are struggling with weight loss right now even if it's just for a couple weeks to track and weigh all of your food it just will help you get used to macros and portion size and kind of get an idea of the protein portion versus the carb portion versus the fat portion. Just all of it in context together, you see the bigger picture and it will definitely help you. Which I'm going to do, I've had so many people asking about how to track macros and how to figure out macros and all of that. So I am going to do a video on that. Again, I'm going to have all that stuff coming as soon as I can knock this program out in school and get my certification and then I will feel that will be the last certification that I'm getting for a little while. I feel like I've been doing school forever and it is a lot but hopefully that will give me some more time to use some of that knowledge that I have gained in school to help you guys on your health journey overall but it is getting later. I need to finish this pre-workout and quit Gavin so that I can get some stuff done and get in here and knock out this leg workout.
well. I thought Monday was an epic workout. I was a freaking beast in there today, y'all. Like, a beast. That was like one of the best workouts that I've had and I don't even know. I burnt over 700 total calories, almost 600 active calories. Did incline walking. As you saw, I got up to 14. I didn't do it for long, but I got up to it and did it for a minute. And to just totally crushed leg day. That equip did your girl some justice today. Let's see if I throw you guys around today. But I was thinking about something in there that I wanted to talk to you guys about because so many people struggle with motivation and consistency. And I know I sound like a broken record, like beating a dead horse always talking about it, but it's like the number one thing that people ask about. And like there's some secret sauce to it or some remedy that is just going to like magically make you feel like showing up and being the absolute best person that you can be every day in all areas of life. And that is just not ever going to happen. The sooner that you accept that, always have my headphones in and I'm screaming at you guys, the quicker that you'll be on the road to success because it just is like there is no magic sauce that just makes you want to get up every day and work out fuel your body fuel your mind fuel your relationships whatever it is there it's all hard work i don't know like what happened to the human population or existence that people have become so incredibly soft and think that things like they should just wake up in the morning and be shredded we all want to be skinny, rich, in love, and righteous without any work whatsoever. Which, how boring would that be if that was the case? The thrill is in the pursuit. Like, I, that sounds like so cliche or dumb to some, but it that truly is. That is where, like, life happens, is the in-between. It's not like some starting and ending point. The process in between is what is called your life. That is, like the part that you're supposed to enjoy like becoming it's hard work to have good health and be the most vibrant you because anything worth having is worth fighting for period like there is no magic motivation if you think anybody you see it just wakes up every single day and wants to work out wants to eat good wants to put in the hard work to grow a business grow a relationship grow a family grow be on fire for god you think any of those things just automatically happen for any person you are dead wrong like i don't care who you're looking at in the world that you aspire to be like or pull inspiration from it is hard for every single one of them it's always going to be hard there is no ever ever from now till doomsday there will never be an easy way or easy route to attain any of those things so the constant i wish we could actually like take motivation out of our vocabulary because people i don't have the motivation i wish i had your motivation i wish i had somebody else's motivation i don't always feel like doing anything that i do many days i don't feel like eating good many days i don't feel like going to the gym many days but i do it anyways because the life that i want i want more than how i feel in the moment of not wanting to go and that you had one has to be stronger than the other the feeling of wanting something more and better for your life has to be stronger than the alternative that just is what it is you have to make yourself do it you have to make yourself bottom line you can like get inspiration motivation all the plans in the world and believe me you have to have a plan you're not just going to accidentally fall on health you're not going to accidentally become successful like you have to work at those things you have to make a plan and you have to execute and get up and win every single day and or at least try to you're not going to win every single day but you got to get up every day and at least try to that's the only way to get anything you want in life i heard somebody say i don't even remember the full quote but you're your health is not a microwavable thing it's more of a crock pot thing like it's going to take time it's gonna take dedication you're not gonna feel like doing it probably the majority of the time especially in the beginning but you just have to absolutely make yourself do it you have to make yourself do it and know that it will pay off 
if you just continually stick with that. And believe you me, I am not just saying this, like talking at you guys. This is how I talk to myself every single day, literally every day. Jennifer, do you want it? Do you want it? How bad do you want it? If it was easy, everybody would do it. Do I like who I'm becoming in the process? Do I want more of that? Then get your ass up and move. Do whatever it is that you are procrastinating on or not wanting to do, get up and do it. You're the only one that has control over the choices that you make and the life that you have. And believe you me, you could be going through a super hard season right now, but whatever you're going through, somebody else has already gone through it and overcome it and is probably doing better. And I mean that with all the love in my heart to myself too. When I sit around and want to feel sorry for myself for whatever kind of situation, there is always somebody that's got it a hundred times worse and turn the situation around and doing way better. And they are thriving in life. They turn their pain into power. You can sit around and feel sorry for yourself and all the reasons why you can't do something or you can get up and make something happen in life. Like whatever you think that is so bad in your life or is holding you back, and it may really be bad. I'm not diminishing anybody's circumstances or problems or anything in life. We all have problems. That's the point I'm trying to make. We all have stuff, some worse than others, but what you choose to do with it and how you choose to show up in life, whether you choose to make yourself show up for life, regardless of how you feel, regardless of what is going on, and get something out of this one life that you have. If you never reach the potential that you could have had and missed out on so much of life, I didn't realize even what I was missing out on life until I started chasing a thriving life. I don't know, I'm just like super fired up about it because so many people struggle and I know that it is hard. But the only answer is to absolutely make yourself do it. Don't let yourself off the hook. Don't let yourself be soft. Be stern with yourself and say, get up and do something with my life. Sorry guys, my camera died as I was talking to you guys on the way back from the gym, but I'm back home now. There's my workout. Just whipped up some lunch and your girl is absolutely starving, so I can't wait to tear this up. Super quick and easy to throw together because I'm starving and have a ton to do. Just some black and chicken strips that I threw in the air fryer here. Coleslaw that I made up yesterday. A Simply Pineapple Good Culture Cottage Cheese and of course the Sweet Poppy Sauce. And I'm also going in with my greens because I didn't go in with them this morning. I actually started drinking them and then forgot to even tell you guys so I only have a little bit left I'm gonna chug down and I filled my hydro jug up for a second time added some of the relight electrolytes my go-to this is the watermelon lime you guys know I'm almost out of this I have more on the way so can't wait for them to come but lunch today is coming in at 452 calories 17 net carbs 61 grams of protein and 14 grams fat just got back from getting little dude from school and I am going in with of course a built bar this is the cookies and cream one and I've also been been sipping on this zero sugar Mountain Dew. In my last grocery haul, you guys would have seen that I picked up some of these from Winn-Dixie. They had buy two, get one free. And I got two 12 packs of the Cherry Dr. Pepper, which you guys know I love. And I decided to go ahead and try this one, which I never was a huge Mountain Dew fan, so I don't really know why I thought I would like it, but I thought I would give it a whirl. And I mean, it definitely passes for Mountain Dew. If you're a Mountain Dew lover, you would probably like it, but it's just not my number one fave. But I'm gonna sip on that while I have this built bar, and then I'm gonna go for a walk because I'm just feeling extra today and wanna get some extra movement in. I'm trying to come up with a certain step goal that I wanna hit every day. I haven't come up with an exact number yet, but gotta go get a few steps in, come back, jump in the shower, and start whipping up dinner. Guys, this is film worthy right now. I just weighed up both of these um, ground beef that I'm getting ready to make spaghetti with, and they are actually on their actual weight. They're actually a little over 16 ounces each, 32.20 ounces. Like that, I'd never find that with any of the meats. That's crazy. Got my walk in a little while ago, did 40 minutes over a couple miles there, then jumped in the shower, got dinner together, and I'm like beyond starving, like insanely. So I originally had planned to do the Bonza protein pasta tonight, but we decided against it last minute that we wanna do spaghetti squash. So the hubby stopped and grabbed a spaghetti squash on the way home and got like the most massive one that I have ever seen. So we split half of it. And then I have the spaghetti sauce on top and then topped it with a little bit of this Parmesan cheese. And tonight's dinner is coming in at 608 calories, 22 net carbs, 69 grams of protein, and 24 grams of fat. All right, guys, are you ready for this? I mean, can you even? First of all, how cute is this cup? 
I have been seeing everybody haul these from Target and I got a few of them and they are like perfect size and handle and all the goods and how cute is the pink. I got a few different colors. But anyways, I digress. I have two of these Oikos Triple Zero. This is the banana cream flavor. I have two of those in here. On top, I mean, yes please, I put some of this Going Bananas American Dream Nut Butter. This one is probably my favorite so far. It has like chunks and I mean, it. I, don't, I can't even, I have no words. It's delicious. I'm getting ready to stock up on this. The hubby is in love with this one too. And then 10 grams of the Purely Elizabeth Granola sprinkled over top. And that's coming in at 385 calories, 29 net carbs, 38 grams protein, 14 grams fat. Yes, please, for the protein. And that has me finishing the day off at 207 grams protein, 58 grams fat, 1805 on the calories and 96 net carbs for an awesome day of eating and a wrap to Wednesday night. just have to make today's push workout just super snappy short and strong and go hard for the short amount of time that we have I have my hydro jug of course and then I am not going right back home as soon as I leave the gym because I have an appointment to go to so I just packed my little travel case my built bar travel case with the cold packs that come with it and two built bars in here and that's what I'm gonna snack on. You already saw what I had this morning. My greens, my Opti greens, which I have been incorporating every single day this week. And then I also had the protein oatmeal with some blueberries, so feeling good. I will say though that I have been incredibly sore the last couple days. I've still been sore. My back has been sore from pool day on Monday and my legs were completely dead yesterday because I had like an epic leg day on Wednesday. Yesterday I didn't film, I took care of some other stuff. I mean, I didn't vlog throughout the day, I did other filming, but I just had an active rest day. I got over 10,000 steps in, I think actually 11,000 steps in. So I still did my walk and still had an active rest day, but just kind of took it easy because I have been like crazy sore and I went really hard on my workout so far this week. And I plan to do that again today with push day because I only have a short amount of time. So I'm gonna have to go hard in the time that I have. That way I get still a really killer workout and am able to try to film as many clips as I can for you guys. So as soon as I drop little dude off at school, I'm gonna mix this pre-workout up and head to the gym for push day. 
okay Sorry is it sorry does She just wanna cut up in the car I told her start it up I don't wanna see it from your eyes Unless it's Cardi yet Ran into my old chick She said you ain't playing fair Playing fair, playing fair Nah, I ain't playing fair Playing fair, playing fair Nah, I ain't playing fair Ask her why she staying there She said she don't know I had to ask some more But I really had to go and get my bop on Yeah, I get my bop on If she needs some good, good Tell her she got hop on She know I'm the top dog I know she a hot one But Lissy's on the feet And you know I got the socks on Yeah, I get my bop on Yeah, I get my bop on If she needs some good, good Tell her she got hop on She know I'm the top dog I know she a hot one But Lissy's on the feet And you know I got the socks on yeah, She said with my hot sauce She ain't with no knock off See them, we gon' pop off Uber getting dropped guys, just got out of the gym And I literally went as hard as I could for the 45 minutes including filming and now I am still going to be a couple minutes late to my appointment but we are getting it I have I killed some of my water not all of it um, and I have my couple built bars that I will snack on while I am getting all these grays covered up I have realized this go round because I have let it grow out longer than normal that literally 80% of my head would be gray if I let my hair grow out and I'm not quite ready for that I am letting the length grow out and I think I'm gonna get more dark and slowly start getting rid of the blonde just to quit beating up my hair so bad between heat and bleach it's a hot mess but anyways I digress had a super killer push day even though it was quick and I didn't have a ton of time, it's just amazing how much harder you go when you know you don't have a lot of time. Like, all my workouts have been killer this week, so I am feeling super pumped about that. Even though I've actually felt like kind of bloated and gross this week, it's funny that even though I have felt like that, I have still felt like I had super killer workouts and been strong. I just haven't felt as lean as I was, say, even when we first started the six-week low-carb cut between all the traveling and off-plan eating and getting sick and not working out for a couple weeks. Just all of it combined has definitely, I could just notice a change, but I am feeling finally like maybe I, will, I am getting my groove back and getting back to how I was feeling free the Miami trip pre getting sick all of that but I'm gonna chug some of this water eat the built bar I brought a cookies and cream built bar and a rocky road of course and they don't have the rocky road anymore but of course you can still get cookies and cream check out the link down below and with Jim will save you some money super awesome and I love the free little travel pack thing I got with it with the ice packs that came with it because it's perfect it keeps it from melting and all of that and this little thing for my pre-workout is perfect Perfect. I have one another size. I have them linked in my Amazon store. You just put whatever powder or protein powder or pre-workout, whatever, if you want to wait and mix it up later. And then it has a little thing on the bottom that you could just dump it into your whatever kind of bottle that you have. So these are super convenient and awesome. But I'm going to knock out this appointment and I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, just finished up at the hair salon. As you can see, we trimmed it a little bit, but I'm still letting it grow out. I just got rid of a lot of the blonde and did darker. I don't even know if you guys can tell. I'll show you when we get to the house. But I only ended up having one of the built bars and it is now two o'clock. So I'm going to go home and get lunch. I didn't know if I would have time before I have to race to get little dude from school and do a couple other things, but I'm going to. So we're going to go home and whip up some lunch. It's about 2.45 now, and as I said, I'm just going in with a super quick lunch. I have two of the Applegate Naturals Uncured Beef Hot Dogs. They are 110 calories a piece and 7 grams protein. And then I have, of course, some of the sweet poppy sauce. I'm going to dip them in because that's my jam. And then one bag of the Loaded Taco Quest Chips, 19 grams protein and 140 calories. There are the macros there. Super quick and easy lunch to throw together. I'm also going to sip on another Zevia. This is the cola. Love this one. I've almost killed my gallon of water, so I'm going to fill that back up and add some electrolytes, and I will work on that the rest of the evening. It is a quarter to five, and I am clearly sitting outside of karate per use, and we are back to normal school and karate schedule, so... Little dude just went into class, so I have about an hour out here. I am going to have my other built bar that I didn't have earlier, the cookies and cream, and this still has kept this cold all day long. It's almost five o'clock, and I put these in at like eight, eight thirty this morning. And I have not had a cold built bar before, but they are awesome, like super awesome. So 
that was cool to find out also. So I am gonna have that, I brought my water, I'm gonna work on that, my laptop, so I can get some work done. And then I am making stuffed peppers for dinner, which I am super excited about because I have been starving. Um, I didn't have a huge lunch, as you know, that's why I'm going in with my other Built Bar, but I am super excited for dinner tonight. So. I'm gonna try to knock out as much work as I can, get some editing done also, and hopefully be ahead of the game for next week, because next week we have a busy week also. I am going to Trader Joe's and Whole Foods on Tuesday. I am going to be filming. You guys let me know down in the comments below. I asked in my last video, my grocery haul, the like go-to low-carb, high-protein things that I need to get from each store. So if you guys have any new awesome finds or things that I definitely have to have, pop them down in the comments below. It's 7.50 and we are going in with dinner. I just made up some stuffed peppers here with some fried potatoes and onions on the side. I did fried red potatoes with the skin on them. I filmed this for a what's for dinner so make sure that you guys are looking out for that. Then just steam some corn on the side and it is looking absolutely delish. I've already tasted some of this mixture. It is so delicious. And tonight's dinner is coming in at 520 calories, 49 net carbs, 43 grams protein, and 13 grams fat. And I just added some of the Jehu sugar-free ketchup on my potatoes which changed the macros to... 527 calories, 50 net carbs, still same protein and fat. Just got back from like a 20 minute walk after dinner. It was super nice outside and just like a nice casual walk, not anything crazy. Trying to hit my daily step goal. But I am going in now with a lazy yogurt bowl. As you can see, I just threw the nut butter and the granola right in the cup of yogurt. Same one I did last night. This is the cookie batter American Dream nut butter, which is bomb. Some of the purely Elizabeth granola right in there and it's coming in at 328 calories 14 net carbs 36 grams protein 14 grams fat i'm almost done with my second water so i am going to work on it with the yogurt bowl and tonight's macros are coming in at 166 grams protein 60 grams fat 1746 on the calories and 107 net carbs for an awesome day of eating and a wrap to friday night all right guys so that is a wrap for this week's video i hope you guys enjoyed the video it was definitely a mix of a week. I felt strong in some areas and not in other areas. Um, I'm definitely going to be implementing a few changes and really trying to get myself back to feeling like the most optimal best that I can. So make sure that you guys are subscribed to have your notifications clicked. Make sure that you're looking out for my next week's vlog because I will be talking about it more in that video as well as my plans for phase two, which I believe that I may start next Monday on the 23rd. You guys let me know down below any of you that are wanting to start 75 hard with me or phase two if we should start it next Monday on the 23rd or September 1st. You guys let me know. But I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. I hope that you got some inspiration out of it and continue to truck along on your health journey and keep leveling up every single day. Thank you guys so very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That definitely helps your girl out and I appreciate it more than you guys know. And as usual, make sure to hit me up on Instagram. I'll pop my handle on the screen here at and with Jen. And thank you again so very much for watching and I will catch y'all in the next video.